I'm gonna teach you how to animate the zoom of a cam path. We're going to choose cam path one and cam path anchor point two. Those are gonna be our zoomed in anchor points. And then three and zero are gonna be a regular zoom anchor point. Let's choose Merv cam path anchor point number one and Merv cam path anchor point number two. Okay, you'll see that they are now in teal while the other two are in red. So you know you've selected the right ones when they're a different color, remember that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Merv cam path edit fob. That's our command. And we want to zoom in to, let's say 50. I like 50, it's a nice number. We wanna start at 90, which is default, zoom into 50, and then zoom back out to 90 at the end. And you can actually see that there is a visual representation of the zoom. Do you see how the representation of this is sort of wider and a little stubbier, right? If you look from the side, now if you look over here, do you see how it's a little smaller square and it actually gets elongated if you look from the side? So that's, that's a good representation of that you know that those are zoomed in and that these over here are normal. Let's see how that looks now that we edited the fob. Let's go to Merv, cam path, print. We're gonna go to the beginning of the cam path, which is at three, two, eight, seven, zero. We're gonna hit escape, and then we're gonna slow this down a little bit so we can watch it. Okay, so I slowed it down, so we're gonna take a look at this, see how it looks. As you can see, as it's playing and it's moving forward, it's zooming in, do you see that? And as we go through our second anchor point and start making our way to our third anchor point, it's gonna start zooming out. And we kinda get this vertigo effect as we're moving forward and zooming out, right? It's kinda cool. And you can actually see this represented in text form. Okay, so we'll go back to Merv Camp Path Print, and we look down here, right? So this is our positional data, this is our angle data, and then this is our FOV data. So the first anchor point's 90, and then 50, and then 50, and then 90, okay? You can always check this to make sure that your edits, your changes to your cam path are actually working and being enacted. So say you did all this, right? You edited the fob, you edited the zoom, but for some reason when you play your cam path, it's actually not zooming. Super easy fix, type in Merv, Fob default. All right, cool. All of these basic commands will help you achieve more advanced effects and transitions as you play and you tinker with them. I'm sure with this tutorial, we'll see some great things out of you in no time.